take the next question from the sisters. Any non-Muslim sister would like to ask a question, they're most welcome. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. My name is Atna and I am a Christian. And I want to ask about uh, the, the Bible version, John 13, first, first 13. Uh, can you, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, can you please uh, explain? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. Sister, can I, can I do the reference? Gospel of John, you said? John 13, verse 13. Gospel of John, chapter number 13, verse number 13. What does it say? Uh, um, one of one of his uh, one of his wait. You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right. For so I am. Uh, this is a. Words of Jesus can please be upon him. In Indonesia. Who's saying this? Jesus. Jesus is saying that you call me Lord and teacher and you are? You call me teacher and Lord and you are right for so I am. Okay, Jesus can please be upon him is saying you call me Lord and teacher and you are right. Here again Jesus can please be upon him is not saying himself that I am God or worship me. Again, I am not sure whether this is in red letter. Is this in red letter, sister? Is this in red letter? Uh, can you please repeat? Is this in red letter? Red letter Bible means whatever Jesus Christ peace be upon him says, it's in red. Is this the word of Jesus Christ peace be upon him? Sister, is this in red? Uh, no. Red letter Bible means there is a Bible in which all the sayings of Jesus Christ peace be upon him is in red. So my challenge is you point out from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ peace be upon himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. This is not the sayings of Jesus point number one. He himself is not saying he is God or worship me. It is somebody else saying that. And even if I agree that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, He said, you call me Lord and teacher. You call me Lord and teacher. And you are right. Again, it means a messenger of God. Here again, it means teacher. It doesn't mean God. You know Lord in English. And Lord? Sorry? Uh, Lord is God, right? No, if you go to English language sister, Lord is not God. It's not always. It can be. You know, in England, you say me Lord yeah. to the judge, me Lord. So always per se, Lord does not mean God, always. Sometimes it can. Do you understand? Sister, do you understand that? Lord in English doesn't always mean God. It can mean, it cannot mean, depending upon the context. Here it says, you believe me to be Lord and teacher. Yes, I am. Yes, he is the teacher. We believe that. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the messenger of God. He is one of the best teachers that Almighty God has sent on this world. Uh, okay, maybe it's because the, translate, the translation in Indonesian, it says that Lord means God. No, are you reading the English translation or the Indonesian? Yeah, I read it in English. Both. English. What does English say? Are you reading from English translation? Yes. Or Indonesian? Uh, both of it. Not both. Say the English translation. Because Indonesian you are translating yourself and it's a mistranslation. You call me teacher and Lord and you are right. For so I am. I know very surely that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says you call me teacher. I know that. I know that very well, Gospel of 
John chapter number 13, verse number 13 says that you call me teacher, I know that. But that's not what you're translating is, it means teacher only. It doesn't mean God. And is it in red, sister? Is that in red letter? Or black ink? No. It's in black, black or red? I think it's all black. I Everything. have a fiction from... Uh, can you Google it. Can you read Gospel of John chapter 14, verse number 6? Is it in red or black? It's in black. Oh, so you don't have the special Bible. There's a special Bible which puts all the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him in red. So this, according to me, is not the words of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Everything of the Bible is not the word of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Everything of the Gospel is not the word of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. All what I quoted was the words of Jesus. So point number one, this is not the word of Jesus, point number one. Point number two, Jesus is saying, even if I agree it is the word, he is saying that you consider me as a teacher and you are right. So nowhere does it mean that Jesus claimed divinity. Hope that answers the question.